Oh, yeah. So, I, I mean, I love her music, and I, I loved her Victorious, but now you seen through her, and especially that uh, donut incident, oh. I just don't know anymore. It's just like, you hate Americans. Uh, okay. Um. Not, you just hate the people. In America, not so much Americans, but you know, Americans can be stupid, yes, but so can uh, yeah, that's true. But 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 so can you know all other nationalities like Mexicans can be stupid. Uh, well, actually, everybody can be stupid. Us us Dominicans can be stupid. Yes. Or, yeah. <laughs> Heck, everybody well, I, is stupid. I'm American, so you know. Yes, we 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 get that, but I was just gonna say everybody's stupid. Yeah, everybody in any nationality is stupid, and anybody in any nationality could be rude, yes. or nice, or whatever. It doesn't matter yes. if you're fat, skinny, <laughs> ugly, pretty, we're all the same people, yes. we all are. Yes, you know, si and sister And even candy. Oh. if people say things about, you, you know... Y yes, you say that we're all humans. We're we're not perfect. That's right. And and you know we're, we're all special in our own ways. You should never feel down about yourself. You know, just just try to grow and see the beauty of life and and see the people that do love you, like your family and such. And you know, lucky just friends. that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because I've actually had um, backstabbing friends before in my life, and I was, I was alone, and I was a loner. A lot of kids made fun of me in school. Yeah, si you know, Candy, or should I say Sister Candy, you know, she, she preaches the truth huh. in that sense. I was thinking Sister as in, you know, Sister and God and all that stuff and all, and I, I just... You know, I look at it for what it is, and, um, but, but yeah, it doesn't really, you know, matter what most people think. In fact, I probably should take that advice to heart at sometimes, because sometimes I forget that, um, I have to, what is it, love myself before I can love anybody. Uh, so you kind of just, you took the words right out of my, out of my mouth, kid. <laughs> I'm no kid. Oh. I'm a lady. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to mention that. Shoot. So, <laughs> but yeah, we, 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 we do have these deep conversations, and we just, you know, I, I just take it for what it is, and, uh, and I know that Candy takes what I say for what it is as well, so I, I appreciate that very much, Candy. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem, did you? But... One more thing, guys. Yeah, one more. In in life, you know, you shouldn't, uh, you should never give up your dreams. Always keep going at it. Like, even if there's obstacles in the way, just keep trying to go at it. Never stop, because in the end, you'll you'll get there finally. Like, I tend to always feel unmotivated or something like that, and I I just stop doing what I do. But I I. I still keep it, and I'm still alive today. I I go to depression, but you know, I I you I still manage to live because I still have people in my life that keep me going, like to you himself. And you know, you guys just have to think about the nice things in life that uh, you have now. Yes, I always have to remind myself, you know. This is just one thing I'll say, and then we'll get to other topics, like other people, for instance. Uh, but I will say that, and I'm, I've am i said before that, well, actually, I've never said this before until now, actually. But, uh, you know, sometimes there, I will admit, there were times when I almost gave up on myself. But then, you know, sometimes whether it's my friends or in some cases even my enemies can show me sometimes of all the good I've done you know like sometimes you know they would you know it depends who says it like if it's my friend they would talk about all the good things I've done and then some of my enemies inexplicably could talk about how great I once was and then 
to try to put me down, but then I'm like, well, wait a minute, that's all the good I've done, and I'm like, you just reminded me of all the good I've done, and I'm like, there are people that love me, and, but I also have to realize, too, that not everyone's going to love me, and I don't think ever, ever not everybody's going to love you, Candy, as much. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. As much There's as I love you, and, ears. yeah. And, and it gets to you. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, like, no matter, like, there's, there's not, not everybody's gonna love you, even though I do, but I have to remember that. Yeah, that's very true. But, but yeah, you know, even if you have haters, just, just move on with your life. You shouldn't give them any attention. So, because that's all they want is attention and to bring you down, but. You should always let them know that no matter what, they're not going to bring you down. You just got to no. keep moving forward with your life and just be happy. Yes. Don't give a shit about what they fucking say about you. <laughs> no, th I, I shouldn't. All right, so now we go from us to our friends. Let's see. People that are our friends, like, let's see. Let's start from the beginning with... Uh, Zekrum. Uh, what do you think of him? Uh, I love, I love that kid. He is awesome. Um, we actually uh, do this role play where he's my dad <laughs> and I'm his daughter. <laughs> and like, uh, it's just funny. I'm like a bad daughter and such to him. And I, and, uh, the funny thing is that I made up that he's obsessed with cornflakes. <laughs> cornflakes? What? Yeah, I know. I know. I don't know why I came up with him being obsessed with cornflakes. And he has like over a thousand of them in the house. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, well, well, I also made up that, uh, well, this is not from sex, but I also made up that uh, Natural G is obsessed with prune juice, but. Well, <laughs> well, I was just going to say, what? <laughs> but yeah, I love Zekrum. He actually was one of the people that missed me dearly while I was on vacation. Like, it, because he's just one of my best friends. And uh, yeah. I used to belong with him. Mm -hmm. uh, now I forgot and what it, a... Oh, yeah. But about, yeah. about Zekrum, though, let's just take this one step at a time. But yeah, Zekrum is a funny guy, and yeah. but what do you think of him as a player? Uh, well, he's a very he's very good at poker. I was told you that he's very good. He's going at me like very hard at times, <laughs> and I would get like really salty at him, or yeah, I would just curse him out and such. But in Split Two, and he would be the one cursing me out because I told him that he's a bad player in it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a dark while I was away, but who knows? But yeah, other than that, to me and him are very, very good friends, and we just have fun together. Uh, and in Smash, uh, how is he in Smash? Oh, I, I can tell you f from experience that um, I've beaten him sometimes. Uh, he's also beaten me at times, so it's kind of like fifty-fifty. Although Zach is definitely, <laughs> excuse me, better uh, than. The, uh, he, he's definitely above the average player, and he's one of the best. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, Zekrum is just that, one of the best. And uh, for those who, you know, would like to, well, I was, I was going to say, like, you know, Zekrum, he has his own channel, uh, his own YouTube channel, so I might give you a link to his channel if you wish, or if you like to go to it. Um, but yeah, Zekrum, one of the best players in on Smash. And, and in fact, you can even just look it up on uh, uh, my playlist of of Smash in which I Smash with him. Oh, nice. Um, uh, also, if you guys check out my channel, I actually have a gameplay of Splatoon. It's the third one. And he is in it along with uh, our other friends from uh, from uh, Shinobi. Shinobi Dovi. Yeah, and uh, he's uh, he, 
you'll see that he's a funny guy, you know. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> fun, yeah, he yeah. he is so funny. Uh, you know, just some of the th- stuff that he comes up with, it, it just it, he he's funny as hell, and I and I have a feeling that if he was to ever get himself a video capture card as well as a microphone and the whole nine yards if he was to do that i i think this kid is going to go far yeah definitely but but and uh, i would enjoy his journey I, yeah i would enjoy his journey just as much as i've enjoyed the journey with crazy candy lady in terms of like how many subs that she's gotten ever since i met her I remember if I if I'm not mistaken, you had like what forty seven subscribers at one point. Yeah. And then uh-huh. and now you're like up to one hundred and nineteen. No, actually, actually no, it's a hundred and twenty nine. Oh my lord, that's a lot. I know. I'm like, what me? I I never thought I. I honestly just started making videos for fun, and people just started subscribing to me along the way and just had the sweetest comments ever to me. I mean, I always wanted to be a YouTuber and always wanted to, like, do gameplays and such, which I can finally do now, but tributes were just, like, there for the fun of it uh, until I got the capture card. Yeah. People still subscribe to me because of my tributes, and then... He just loved it. So, you know, I still make them because I enjoy them and I just, I love my subscribers so much. Dude. I, I love them so much. Let's they're see. Like, they're like my best friends, too. That's, yeah. That is uh, so awesome. Yeah, I, I'm finally happy to make gameplays and I just, I just can't wait for, <laughs> I like hope that I could do that one day. So, yeah. Okay, so there's Zachram, and then there's Jacoy. What do you think of him? Oh, Jacoy? Well, well, I don't talk much with him. I think he's a cool kid. Like, he's very cool, and I love the me shorts he puts. <laughs> They're hilarious, and I love that I'm in the intro thing myself. <laughs> yeah. Of course, uh, your me looks a lot different now than it did when he made the uh, intro, but I, I love the me shorts. I thought, you know, especially since, well, of course I'm in it, but I'm like, I, I still think that my favorite all time would have to be um, me laughing at Shinobi and I, me laughing uncontrollably. That's the That's the name of it. Like oh. <laughs> the very the very first me shorts, and then I'm surprised he hasn't put you in it yet. Yeah, he hasn't. I'm it, just in the little picture, but hopefully, well, soon someday. I think the the second most funny would have to be when Zek made his debut, and my character was like, "Dad, there's a spider in my room." <laughs> and then and then Zekram was acting like my father and then and then he's like what are you scared of this little thing and then the little thing that would be the spider g- gets up on his face and then he starts screaming like a girl oh yeah <laughs> that was funny as hell I love and that. and i also thought that the um that the uh the the eight player smash videos that he did i thought that was pretty cool too especially since i was in it Albeit dressed up as Toad, and then the fact that you were in it too. Oh uh, yeah. I I just remembered, and I'm like, wow. I I just it's just so cool that you know, Jacoy could think of these things, and I just thought everything that he does. Yeah, he may be little in stature, but he's definitely not little in what he does. Nothing he does is little. And that's a compliment. Candy? Yeah, indeed. Oh, there you are. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. I, I was a little distracted because I, I went on Discord for a bit and people are sending me stuff. People are sending you stuff? Or, like, uh, saying, hey, Candy. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that's true. And, and as of the time that this is being recorded, uh, she came back from her 
long-standing vacation, and uh, and we did miss you very much. But of course, it won't matter as much since it'll be far in the a little a little far in the future by the time this gets out. Uh, just because I already do have two interviews being edited on the way. But anyway, uh, let's see. There's Okay, so we talked about Jacoy and we talked about Zach. Um, what about the others like Kitty Sleep Lord and Liban? Oh, Kitty? Oh, yeah. Kitty and... No, it's actually Laban. Laban. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, they are cool kids as well. Oh my gosh, I they're they're sweet too. Oh my gosh, uh, where do I start? Um, well, maybe you should start first. Well, the only thing I can say, I, I haven't really, you know, met them very very long to form a real valid opinion of them. But Kitty is very funny. So so funny. It, it, I I just can't stop laughing at some of the things she says. I I just find her to be very funny, just like you, Candy. I find yeah. I, I find you to be funny, but you know, Kitty Kitty's brand of humor is a little different than yours. But but she's funny nonetheless. Is uh, Kitty Sleep Lord and and then Liban is just funny all around. Liban, <laughs> especially. Laban, Laban, I'm sorry. But... <laughs> okay. He's my son in real play. Oh, and Kenny's my mother in real play since her and Zach are, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm your mother. No, Kenny is my mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, this is role playing, folks. This is not real. I just want, yeah. I just want to put that out there that it's not real. Especially since I'm older than them, I'm I'm 19 while they're like 14 or 13. Yeah, there, so. it's yeah. it's it's just a role play that they do, but um, but as for uh, uh, Laban, uh, I think the funny part was when he said, and I quote, "Hi, welcome to Chili's. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a complete douchebag," and then, <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing at it. I'm like, God. This Liban, Laban is so funny, I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, God. But yeah, Laban is funny. And then, let's see. And then here's a guy that I think is funny, but you don't think he's that funny. And I'm talking about the guy known as Roy. Oh, my God, that kid. <laughs> I, I laugh at his... Uh, uh, no offense to you, Roy, but... Uh... You're, you, the things you say are kind of stupid at times, and which makes me laugh. I, I usually make fun of him. A lot of, a lot of us make fun of him, but just to like joke around with him. But yeah. other, I, I'm cool with the kid. It's just that he makes me angry at times. Like, yeah, I noticed but, that. I'm like, uh, is there some sort of beef that I should know about? Or actually, no, I don't think... Um, I, actually, I, sh I think we should keep that a secret as to what kind of beef it is, but... The only it, thing I know no, is... No, it's just the thing he said was uh, something very racist. I mean, like, I guess he didn't... He said he didn't mean it, but, uh, yeah, you know, we should just keep it to ourselves either way. Yeah, I think we should. I think we should. And then... Uh, but as far as Roy himself, I just thought, you know, Roy, you know, in, in fact, um, we did play some Smash. In fact, you were actually, well, you were there to play some Smash uh, with with us. And that video, uh, it's still up there. I don't know if you remember that one. I remember one of the things you said, and of course, I don't think it would be true, but I remember... Uh, you know, Roy mentioned that he didn't have the DLC. Uh. You know, the, he didn't have the DLC for, um, uh, what is it, uh, for, for Smash. Like, he doesn't have, you know, Roy the character. And he's like, even though my name is Roy, I don't have him. And then I remember one thing you said, and I could not believe you said this. <laughs> You said that he was 
poor, and I was like, at first I laughed at it, but then I realized, oh, you know what, maybe I shouldn't laugh at that. No, he's actually not. <laughs> okay, uh, well, then I can laugh at that then. <laughs> and then, but it, but it was what he said after that that made me laugh. Don't you ever be calling me poor. I, re I was like, that was funny as hell. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But, nice. but all in all, um, Roy, we, we, we love you, Roy. Yeah, I love you too, even though you annoy me at times. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Kids do tend to annoy me. I know you're just a kid and you still not got to learn from a lot of things and and, Heck, I'm 27, uh, and we all need to learn something. Yeah, we all do. Yeah. We still need to learn from our, our you know, our things. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, definitely. But yeah, really, it's okay. Well, that's good to hear. So, and then, let's see, there's, there's Roy, and then there's, like, some of our friends from the chat. We'll briefly mention them, because we may not have enough time to mention, mention them all, like, um, Eclipse Rose. <laughs> oh, yeah, Eclipse. Oh, she's, she's a sweetheart. She's, she's very cool, and I, I think she's very funny as well when playing with her. Yeah. And, and she's very great at Mario Kart. Yes, she's one of the best. In fact, uh, I noticed, you know, um, I'll get back to Eclipse in a moment. And then there's also Eula. Oh, yeah, Eula, she's cool. I mean, I haven't heard from her very much, but Eula was awesome. And then there's uh, TZ. Uh, oh, Tristan he Gray, I think his name is. Oh, uh, he's my very, very good friend. That's good to hear. <laughs> and then, uh, and then let's see, other people I can think of. Um, probably one of the greatest uh, Mario Kart Eight players of all time, TJ Super. Oh yeah, TJ! Shout out to you, my BFF. He loves Toadette, and he like real. He's a huge Toadette fan. And he just basically uses her against the... Like, he doesn't use any of the heavies. He just uses her. And he's still... And he has, like, over, like, tons of points. And he, he's just amazing. Like... Yes. TJ Super, as mentioned before, is perhaps one of the greatest uh, Mario Kart 8 players of all time. And I, I just thought, you know... In addition to being that, he's also a very cool guy. Oh, yeah, he definitely is. Um, love that guy. <laughs> I, I, I just, he's awesome. That much I can tell you. And let's see, other people I can think of. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's so many people we can think of. It's not even funny, but it is. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, um, oh, I forgot. Um, <laughs> my God, there's a lot of people we can think. Um, I think I think that's more or less it. I mean, there's oh, of course, Shinobi himself. Oh uh, yes, he's a very down to earth and cool guy. He's awesome. And, I mean, I had a chance to talk to him on, well, we there's this service that, uh, we're using Skype at the moment, but if this service was to have many of the things that Skype has, I think it would surpass Skype at this time, but there's, there's still some things that, you know, this service would benefit from, but for now, we use this thing called Discord. Yeah. I've actually personally talked to him several times with myself and him and we we would be able to talk about a lot of things and I would get to know like I know the real him and it's just it's awesome actually and he he, he seems very cool. Yes. I I just think that you know 
to to be able to meet the man behind the character is just as amazing and you know and, and plus I mean I got to meet him the day before Veterans Day uh, I just thought you know here's a guy that is a star and yet he's very accessible I mean sure he has a busy life but he's accessible and I, I can respect him for that and if he ever needed some time to you know if he ever needed to take some time off you know just to take care of some stuff that he needs to take care of then who are we to say that he can't yeah but as for eternal shinobi or eternals as we call him very cool guy in fact i have to say on a very personal note thank you man for being my friend and for yes, being a friend to all of us mm -hmm. love you you're awesome yes we do love you okay other people um your best friend luke who's this luke guy that you mentioned before Oh, Super Mario Luke is his name on YouTube. He's also a YouTuber, yes, like us too. And he is a very great friend of mine's and to Ju. But of course, I, I've known him way before to Ju. And uh, we met like during the summer of last year, of course. And, and we just got to, you know, like, 2014 sorry <laughs> but yes we just got to like meet each other on the wii u while like i just randomly found his post out of a, sm a smash and it was like boat for daisy and that really attracted me because uh you know like i'm a huge fan of hers and we just both started talking and we just both got along pretty well from that and uh, we we like had a lot of conversations on the Wii U chat thing, and then um, he, and then he told me if I have a kick, and then we started talking there. That's where it started more. <laughs> yeah, but then uh, I realized he had the Skype, so we started skyping, and that's where it actually hit on because there we could actually talk uh, like in the call and. That's how we like talk and everything, and I just, I he just became like one of my best friends, just like that, because uh, he's just funny and very great to talk to. I just have a good time with him. You know, I I enjoy you know his company when we talk. Um, we haven't really talked all that much, but of the times that we've had. Uh, I I enjoy his company too. Yeah, he's a he's a sweet kid, guys, and his uh, his videos are pretty good too. Like his new intro right now that I helped him make is amazing. I haven't <laughs> used the free tw trial yet, but you'll you you, you know what? Just like uh, I help teach you how to do stuff on Camtasia, maybe you could teach me how to make an Animoto thing. All right, no worries. Like, if you help me, I help you too. Oh, <laughs> let's see. So yeah, we have Super Mario Luke, and then we have, you know, it, it, it's kind of funny that you and one other person is named after food. Like, you're candy, and then there's our best friend, Fries 101 Reviews, or Fries for short. Yeah, that's really odd. Well, candy isn't really food it's uh, more of a sweet uh, you know i guess fries is fries is basically a junk food well they're both pretty much junk food honestly yeah, yeah. yeah. uh well now about fries um he's pretty cool we me and Tiju, as i've said before we we play um, Mario Kart 8 with him, along with um, some of our other friends, like including, like, including with Luke. Um, we play, we play that, and we had, we have a blast. And yes, we have. 
In fact, um, I, I've shared the video a couple of times, um, or some of the videos initially, and I just thought, you know, Fry's was such a great host. I mean, well, I mean, sure, he can be better, but he's, for what he is, he does a great job, does uh, Fry's. Yes, and uh, me and Tiju have uh, done the interview with him on his channel. Yes, yeah, we, we've, like, he would interview us, well, maybe not together, but individually he uh, interviewed us, and I thought, well, you know what, if he went to the trouble of interviewing me, how about I finally return the favor? Because I first met Fry's, like, at least 11 months ago. Or, like, on, on January of this year, right? Which would be of 2015. Oh. That's how far back, but it, re it really was not until, like, at least, I don't know, October when we, you know, really became friends. Nice. So, I have to say the last four months for Fry's has been the most, you know, wonderful for him. And also, for him to host um, Mario Kart 8, it was just amazing. Yeah, it really is. And we just all have fun together. And uh, Sure, we uh, say random things, and sometimes it could go far. But either than that, we still have a fun time being all together with each other. Yes. And, um, you know, the way I met Fry's was that uh, Tiju actually intro uh, introduced him to me because he and him were actually in the car together and I wanted to talk with Tiju in, in the car, but I, I didn't know that Fry's was in it. Or, I, I did like, not know either, yeah, but... Yeah, um, and uh, then, like, I joined and we just started talking from there and uh, we had a good time just meeting and uh, from there uh, then we added each other and started to talk way more and it, it just grew into a, a great friendship sure there's times where we both have a downfall of each other I, I admit but uh, we make it work I mean that's what true friends do they they fight but then they work things out in the end yes and we'll just leave it at that. But as far as Fry's himself, uh, very funny at times, and yet very, very kooky, but very fun, nonetheless. Yeah, he might be a man of few words, but he is so pretty cool. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, we love you, Fry's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just wanted to put that out there. And then, let's see. But then we met a new... Well, actually, we met a few new people through fries one of which is the man who calls himself nugget mcbutter nugget one uh yeah <laughs> he's another awesome person indeed any any we, thoughts on him um i just have a great time talking to him he's a he's a sweet kid very sweet and very very cool and uh, he could be funny as well yeah and, and uh i've had a actually i've had a call with luke and we've invited him in and we all just uh had fun like telling these random stories and <laughs> it's just a blast to have met him and i'm very glad to have met all these new people they're just so awesome and lovely yeah. Yeah. I I I I I enjoy him a lot, especially you know, the it, even when he even when we're not like you know talking to each other. But one time, like, or actually several times, like I would be online and then he would follow me into the online room, like whether it was oh. Tune or whether it was Mario Kart Eight. Like not too long ago, the other day, uh, he ended up on two different streams playing on two different games um, like for example I was going to Ultimate GG I don't know if you've ever heard of him mm, no well, I haven't he's, he's one of Shin's friends so ah oh, okay he's one of Shin's friends 
as as well as a friend of well, he used to call himself Nullick, but we also call him Nick or Technical, whatever you want to call him. He used to come to the stream a lot. Did uh, Nick? Uh, so Ultimate GG's like a friend of his. Oh okay. So I, I'm, I'll have to tell you about that later on, but um, but yeah, believe it or not, uh, McButter Nugget was in the uh, he he was in the uh, in the stream and he didn't even know it. <laughs> it was just funny how it happened though. Yeah. <laughs> And then, let's see. And then the only other person left would have to be Road Rage. Ah, uh, Road Rage. He, he's, um, he's awesome. This program has been pre-recorded.